Hello, thank you for joining me today. This is another two minute tip video tutorial by Amanda Fowler of inspiringinking.com. Today's two minute tip is the third in my series of knots and bows and it's called the fork bow. So let's get started. You can see on this card I have a lovely tiny even bow um, that's that's decorating the wreath. Here you can see a much much larger bow and smaller and even tinier. Now I've used a range of forks, um, let's put those in inverted commas, to make these bows. This little tiny one was using just an ordinary um, table fork. This second one is using one of my favourite crafting tools which actually is an afro comb, has lots of, of prongs so you can make lots of different sizes of bows. And then the one actually that I'm going to show you today because it's easiest to see it in its largest form is using this. Now this is actually a um, carving fork or a meat lifting fork and that's how I made this bow using this lovely uh, Calypso Coral three quarter inch chevron ribbon. Okay, so if I just bring in the table fork just to show you, there are three holes in the fork and the same that we have the three here. So long as uh, whatever you use, a comb, an afro comb or a fork, so long as you have an odd number of spaces, that will work fine. So let's get started with this. I'm just going to take a few inches of this Calypso coral ribbon and then what you're going to do is wrap the ribbon around the back of your fork and then cross it over at the front like you would if you were putting on um, a scarf. So you're just going to cross it over and then what you're going to do, I'm going to sort of hold this up just so you can see, then you're going to take the tail that is on the top through the centre, like that, and then you're going to pull it up through the centre again at the top. And then you're just going to take this tail and you're going to cross them over and make a knot. Now as you pull the knot tight, wherever you want the tails of the bow to go, you need to pull it in that direction. So if I bring in this one again, you can see that the, the tails are coming down, whereas on this tiny one here, the, the tails are sort of more coming sideways. So work out what, what type of tails you want for the bow and this one I'm going to pull them down so I'm actually as as I'm pulling it tight I'm pulling pulling them down and the tighter you tie this at this point the the better really so pull it really tight now this is the back of the bow so I'm just going to turn it over and this is the front now you might want to just manoeuvre that centre Part a little bit and then let's just pull that off and there you have it a perfect bow um, that is is flat you can stick these down with a glue dot uh, that works really well um, I'm just going to trim off the edges I've got a nice finish thank you very much for stopping by for my two-minute tip I'll see you again soon